LaVar be triggered? The top of his head. <laughs> What's up, people? Mr. Octagonal here from Octagonal Gaming. Now, LaVar be triggered, as I just said. The Lakers reportedly are not sold on Lonzo Ball. There have been rumors that the Lakers are going to draft Lonzo Ball, la di di la di da LeVar Ball would get his way, but maybe not. Maybe this could be just some phony lie from someone who made something up on Bleacher Report. It, it came from Bleacher Report, by the way. So, um, yeah, maybe it's that. But, or maybe this is real. The whole Lonzo LeVar thing, some people view it as scary. I view it a little scary. Not, I don't view it as super scary, but I don't view it as nothing. So it's a little concerning, but not too concerning. May I feel like Lavar might be trying to get business, and is a smart guy, or Lavar Ball is a dumb guy. So we're gonna compare stats between Lonzo Ball, Josh Jackson, and De'Aaron Fox. Three candidates for the number two pick, assuming Markel Fultz goes number one. I don't know why he wouldn't. So Lonzo has the best individual stats. If you look at points, Lonzo has fourteen point six. Josh Jackson has 16.3, and De'Aaron Fox is 16.7. So Lonzo has the least amount of points, but he has the best field goal percentage of 551. Three-point percentage, he also has the best. Three pro percentage goes to De'Aaron Fox. Balls is at around 67.3. Rebounds, he has six rebounds a game, which is ahead of both Josh Jackson. Oh, no, nope, he's not ahead of Josh Jackson, sorry. Josh Jackson has 7.4. De'Aaron Fox has four and assists, he's head of Fox and Jackson. Fox has 4.6. Josh Jackson has 3. Ball has 7.6. So Ball is definitely the best playmaker. People say De'Aaron Fox is the best pure point guard. I really feel like Alonzo Ball is the best pure point guard. Marco Fultz is a combo guard. He's more of a 2. I think the Celtics should... I'll, I'll, I'll make that in another video, but I think they should trade Avery Bradley move. Uh, full to the two. I'm not saying Avery Bradley's a bad player. Avery Bradley's a really good 3 and D player. They could get very good value for him. However, Mark Fultz will probably be better than Avery Bradley, and I don't think we should trade Isaiah Thomas. I think Isaiah Thomas is very clear of best player. I think we've seen it this season, but this is Lonzo's episode. So, um, LeVar be triggered. What's next? Um, yeah, the Lakers said they're not reportedly interested. Now, for Lonzo's sake, I think it would be best if he went to the Lakers. Not only so LeVar Ball didn't get pissed, but LeVar, or not LeVar, Lonzo could learn. Their head coach is Luke Ridnauer, who was a point guard in the NBA. He wasn't a very good point guard, but there's Magic Johnson. One of, if not, I think, the best point guard of all time. I think he's the best point guard of, uh, point guard of all time. Sorry, John Stockton. Sorry, whoever could be next. I think Magic is the best of all time. I'm a Pistons fan. The Pistons have a good point guard. Isaiah Thomas and Chauncey Bellops. But, uh, yeah, anyway. I think Lonzo can learn a lot from Magic Johnson. And even Luke Ridnauer, who's much more recent than Magic Johnson. Magic's from the 80s. Luke Ridnauer is from the 2000s. So Luke Ridnauer knows a little more about recent than Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson's better. He knows how to try train Lonzo better. Maybe Lonzo and other teammates like D'Angelo Russell or something could go to the gym and keep chucking threes. That's what Magic did with... Byron Scott and some other dude. Obviously, Byron Scott wasn't very good in the Lakers' front office. Maybe Magic will. And they all became really good three-point shooters. Lonzo's form is ugly. It's from the waist. You're going to get blocked in the NBA doing that. If he drains his shots, he doesn't have to worry about that. But if he gets blocked, these kids are taller in the NBA than college. So, it might be a little harder for Lonzo. He can shoot. He's not a great shooter, but he's still a good shooter. He's be he's definitely better than Josh Jackson, De'Aaron Fox. No doubt. Neither of them are good shooters. Who the best shooter? Be oh, Malik Monk. Okay, that ne never mind. That That's not much of a, de a debate. But that's pretty much the end of the video. Oh, also, um, if I think the Lakers should draft Lonzo or De'Aaron Fox, assuming Fultz goes number one, because they have Brandon Ingram and so forward. I know Brandon Ingram didn't have a great year last year. But it's only one season. You shouldn't give up on a player after one season. But Timberwolves should not give up on Chris, Chris Dunn after one season. Was he good last year? No. I will admit, Chris Dunn did not have a good year last year. But you don't give up on someone after one year unless he's a second out pick and you know he sucks. Chris Dunn's the fifth overall pick. Shouldn't give up on him. D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell's going to be a serviceable player his whole career. However, he's not going to take that giant leap. 
He has not really improved much throughout his first two seasons, which scares me. His work, ethic, his work ethic scares me if his stats didn't improve much. Russell can easily move to the two, so what the Lakers could have their starting lineup look like next year is Lonzo slash Fox, Russell, Brandon Ingram, Larry Nance and Julius Randle. One of them will be the center. One of them could be the power forward. You also have Ivica Zubak. I think Randle is better than Larry Nance, so definitely have Randle probably power forward. And then maybe Lance, Lance, no, Larry Nance or Avika Zubak at center if you ever won six men. So that's going to end this video. So what do you think of the comments below? I think we're going to stay, still take Lonzo. I think this is a bunch of baloney. Maybe you should, guys should not watch this video, but maybe, maybe, maybe Lonzo won't be taken by the Lakers and you will benefit from watching this video.